Hello guys, good day to all, this is Mike Padawan, we're back to the latest update, this is the March 18-20 to 20, uh, weather analysis, English version, for uh, Tuesday to Thursday, and this is brought to you by Typhoon 2000 and Naga College Foundation. But before we begin, we'd like to uh, thank our partners, Aboitis Power, Bank of the Philippine Islands Sustainable with you. If you're interested, just click on the link up here. Or if you're watching via Facebook, visit the description page for more details regarding BPI Sustainable with you. The local government of Naga City, headed by our Honorable Mayor Nelson Legacion and our Honorable Congressman of the 3rd District of Kamagani Sur, Congressman Gabi Bordad. Now, let's begin with our update after uh, a week of dry conditions. Here we go again. We have another blast of the Northeast Monsoon. It, this is, uh, this is, uh, one of the two remaining, uh, surge before we enter the hot dry season for our country. And, uh, it looks like there's also a accompanying, uh, shoreline that is expected to bring some rain showers and thunderstorms across the Visayas, eastern Mindanao, and the Bicol region in the coming days. So we have winds of 30 to 60 kph expected along the coastal areas of Luzon and eastern Visayas, and the rest of the country will have the light to moderate northeasterly monsoonal flow. Okay, and uh, here's the uh, fast animation from the University of Wisconsin Tropical Cyclone page. You can see here the low-level cloudiness of the Northeast Monsoon during some showers already in some parts of the Bicol region. Last night, we experienced one. And we have here a developing shear line. The shear line is somewhere here because this is the frontal system. Okay. And then this is the shear line. And this cloudiness will connect with the shear line and will bring showers and thunderstorms over southern Bicol. Eastern Visayas and northeastern Mindanao, parts of Surigao, Dinagat, and Siagao Islands will expect some on and off rain showers and thunderstorms. So be careful for possible flooding, landslides, due to the effect of this on and off rainfall that will be uh, uh, given by the approaching shear line, which might be the last one for this uh, Amihan season. Since Amihan season ends during the middle or last week of March, and most likely March 28, 29, there's still another one, but it will be focused on extreme northern Luzon. So, uh, uh, let's enjoy these last cooler days, okay? And here's the, uh, zoom in satellite animation. You can clearly see here some cloudiness. These are low level cloudiness affecting parts of Kamakani Sur, Albay, and Sorsagon, bringing some showers in between. And this is the shear line that is expected to uh, intensify in the coming days. This is a cloudiness brought about by a near equatorial trough somewhere here to the southeast of Mindanao. Now this cloudiness will uh, converge with the shear line and most likely it will bring rains and thunderstorms across eastern Samar and uh, parts of the Bicol region as well, particularly Albay, Sosigon, Masbate. Kalanduanes as well. Kamarani Sur, there might be some rains, but not much. Uh, expect on and off heavy, moderate or light rainfall in the coming days until Saturday. So this is the rain uh, forecast for the next uh, 24 hours. For tomorrow, we expect here on and off rainfall over Bicol region and also over eastern Visayas and uh, eastern Mindanao. On Thursday, it will be more frequent over Albay, Sorsogon, northern and eastern Samar, uh, Mimaropa, except for southern Palawan, and also uh, Panay, Negro, Cebu will also experience uh, some thunderstorms brought about by this shear line. And on Friday, it will remain over northern Samar, Masbate, Albay, Sorsogon, parts of Camarines provinces, Ramblon, Marinduque, and Oriental Mindoro, Northern uh, Panay as well. So this will be the effects of the uh, remaining uh, shear line for this uh, end part of the Northeast Monsoon. Thunderstorms over uh, areas of uh, Lano uh, provinces, okay, and uh, over uh, Palawan as well. And on Saturday, 
the shear line will start to weaken until uh, Sunday there might be still some showers and thunderstorms of Visayas and Bicol but on Monday onwards it will be back to dry conditions there will there might be some showers in between uh, we will not remove the possibility because of the uh, lingering effects of La Nina although we are now into neutral conditions on the latest now moving into neutral conditions so La Nina is starting to weaken for this month Here's the uh, rainfall accumulation for the next 24 hours. So tomorrow we expect some showers over the eastern sections of the Bicol region. Eastern uh, Samar, Eastern Leyte, Northeastern Mindanao, Siargao, Dinagat. So that's the effects of the uh, remaining shoreline. Northeast Monsoon will also bring some showers and thunderstorms over eastern Isabela and eastern Cagayan. We move on uh, Thursday. March 20, the shear line will become more stronger, okay, uh, affecting uh, the eastern sections of Albay, Sorsogon, southern parts of Camarines, Camarines Sur, I mean, Rinconada, and also here over uh, Oriental Mindoro, Romblon, northern Panay, um, eastern at uh, eastern and northern Leyte, eastern and northern Samar as well. So, rains of 50 to 100 millimeters will be expected. And on Friday, it will remain over the eastern sections of the Bicol region, now affecting Partido District of Camarines Sur on Friday, March 21st. And some rainfall will also be expected over parts of Camarines Sur, including Naga City and Iriga, but on a uh, on and off pass, uh, passing uh, fashion, okay? Not continues based on what we are seeing here but expect to uh, just bring your umbrellas and uh, uh, rain gear on saturday slowly the uh, shear line will start to diminish although it will still bring rainfall across all by sosagon it will be more on a microcosm okay uh, on a midget uh, scale so all by sosagon and uh the coastal areas of northern and eastern Samar, as well as southern Catanduanes. That will be on March 22, Saturday. And uh, on uh, Sunday, it will completely uh, be just over the coastal areas of eastern Albay, eastern Sosogon, and eastern Catanduanes. And uh, Monday, March 24, we will uh, be returning to dry conditions. So there you go, that's the rainfall accumulation forecast. For the wind, so tomorrow we have the northeast monsoon over northern and eastern Luzon, Bicol region, coastal areas of Bicol region, more frequent there. And on Thursday, March 20, Friday, March 21st, the northeast monsoon will become more uh, on a moderate scale across the Bicol region. So winds of 30 to 40, up to 50 kph will be expected together with the shear line that will bring some rain showers and thunderstorms over eastern Bicol and eastern Visayas. Saturday, it will slowly weaken into northeasterly wind flow. Sunday, still weakening. And on Monday, we will shift into the dry, warm easterlies. But there might be still some showers expected. Okay? So, uh, next week, back to hot, dry, uh, warm easterlies. And let's take a look at the latest on the Madden Junior Oscillation. Right now, it's over the Indian Ocean, and the effects of the Madden Junior Oscillation will be along the southernmost part of the country, particularly over the equator, Salavest Sea, southern Mindanao. Uh, between March 17 to March 31st, the Philippines is somewhere here, so it's only here. So there's nothing to uh, be uh, worried about. Okay, so here's the uh, return of the wet, wet face of the Madagascar Oscillation, more over Indonesia and uh, Papua New Guinea. Uh, as you can see here, since it's still wet season over the southern hemisphere near northern Australia. So Indonesia, Papua New Guinea will experience more rainfall than us. Okay, Mindanao will also have a taste of some rain showers and thunderstorms until the end of March 
And if we take a look at the latest on La Nina, we are still on the La Nina advisory, but we are now developing into neutral conditions as La Nina weakens. And as you can see here on the map, for this month of March, we will shoot up to 75% or 74% neutral condition. So La Nina will officially end probably by uh, April. So this April, that's MAM. We get the middle of the three month period. So April neutral conditions or La Nada will be up to 81% while La Nina is now down to 18%. So we are going to, ba going back to neutral or normal conditions. So that will be, uh, uh, moving forward into the, uh, wet season of the Philippines and until, uh, Mm, August, we will be under neutral conditions from 80 down to 55%. Okay, so, so far for the advanced forecast of the ENSO, September, October, November is still under neutral conditions, but it looks like there might be a return of a slight La Nina, but still not sure. Less than 30% probability, this will be on November, so... Uh, overall, we are going back to neutral conditions away from La Nina. But again, uh, if we have uh, warm easterlies with thunderstorms, this hot dry season, there might be some showers in between because of the still effects of the uh, La Nina. Even though it's uh, completely uh, gone by April, the effects will continue until May. So it's not uh, completely... There might be weeks of some passing rain showers and thunderstorms if we have LPAs, tropical cyclones, intertropical convergence zone, wind convergence, but the shear line and the uh, uh, Amihan or the Northeast Monsoon is completely uh, gone, okay, this uh, coming months. And for the latest global tropics hazards outlook from the Climate Prediction Center of NOAA, Valid for the next two to three weeks, wherein the third week is highly uncertain, below 30% probability. We begin with week two, valid March 90 to 25. This is the effects now of the shear line, the last of them, together with the northeast monsoon, bringing some rains and thunderstorms along Visayas, Eastern Bicol, Eastern Visayas, Mindanao. It's around 50 to more than 65% probability. But on week 3, valid March 26 to April 1, there might be uh, more than 65% of above average rainfall, but the probability remains low. So uh, we shall observe this. But slowly, we are moving into hot dry season beginning April. Okay, so that's our update for today. Nothing to worry about, even though we are uh, giving you the, uh, these updates once a week during uh, off season when we don't have any tropical cyclones but we will try to return this week uh, to be back again this weekend for another update from typhoon 2000 this is mike padua saying uh, good day to all have a great week and uh, thank you so much for watching our channel be hashtag weatherwiser hashtag typhoon wiser and thank you so much for watching our channel god bless to all